Hey, Ken, or whomever's watching this, hopefully this will help. That's why I want to make this quick video. Uh, what we were talking about is how do you take a, a single page and replicate it throughout Oxygen inside the same site. Uh, so this is a, a website for Happy Dogs Food and More we created. And if you look close enough, you'll see it's replicated from the Oxygen single page or one page, um, except we added advanced custom fields and a menu and a number of things here. But recently the client, this was a one page, so no matter what you click on, it was on the same page, just moving around to sections. But the client wanted to add a blog, so we had to figure out how are we going to go in and replicate what we've already built. And because we don't have any templates, so we'll, we'll just go in and create and replicate this uh, header and the footer and pieces over to be able to create a blog and add these things in. So here's how we did it. I decided to just go out and build a new site instead of messing around with the client site. So I just went out and built a sandbox in Oxygen. Uh, the only plugin in here is Oxygen. Uh, make sure you go to settings and um, Oxygen settings. There we go. Under library and make sure you enable this one here and make this WordPress a default in design set. So that's step number one. Step number two, make sure you got your license in. I'm not gonna show you my license, um, but make sure those two are enabled. Under settings, normal stuff, just made sure permalinks were set to post and the reading was set to the home. That way the page is loaded. So if you look here, there are zero templates and there is just the one page, the home front page. So I'm gonna, click edit this is the page that we need so if this was your sales page this is the page we need to get copies of so right here we're going to include this here we're going to include this here the page category we're going to call it a home page and then we're going to generate some screenshots the screenshots will only work if you have your license it's going to give you an error and you're just going to see these markers there uh, that emulate that uh, there, there should be a screenshot so even if you don't have your license even if you don't have screenshots you can still do this I just prefer to generate the screenshot so you've got something to take a look at. So it's taking a moment here to load. All right, so screenshots successfully generated. I'm going to update this page. So at this point, you have taken what, go view the page. At this point, you've taken this home page and saved it as one page in your design library. And it's broken down these sections and saved those also in the design library. So. That being said, let's just go up here under all pages and say we're going to add a new one. And this is going to be a, a sales page. And we're going to publish that. Nothing more. This is a brand new blank page. And we're going to edit it with Oxygen. Now, because there are no templates, you're going to see a white page. So this is just fine. We're going to go over here and click Add, Library, design sets and then right at the top you're going to choose your design set so as i mentioned under sections and elements these screenshots have been created so you're going to be able to add these screenshots however you've created them not the standard ones or under pages here you can go in and add the entire page and now you've got the page i'm going to save that we'll go to the front end and now forward slash sales has the exact same page. All right, so you can stop here, but now if you want to take this to the next level, here's how we use this to create a template. So let's go into the dashboard. Let's go into oxygen templates. I'm going to add a new template. So what pe some people call main or header, footer, this, if you want to start creating one, you can go in here and say catch all and publish this. I'm going to edit with oxygen. Again, this is blank because this is the main. So we're going to click add library, design sets, oxygen, pages, boom. Now this is everything. This is too much because we want this to, we, we just want the header and the footer. So again, back to our client site, we, this was a one page. We just needed the creation bar at the top and the footer. 
So instead of redesigning everything, I just imported the entire page like this, went over here and just removed that section, the client section, the benefit section, the testimonials, just remove every section. We have the header and the footer, and we're going to add inner content. And then I'm going to size and space that. Now, let's see, it's doubling up because it's previewing home. So let's say we go preview privacy. Now, there's nothing on the privacy page. Let's go preview the sample page. There we go. Too much. But um, back to privacy. Here's a perfect example. If you have a blank page, this is why we're going to go into size and spacing and set the view height, minimum height to say 80. So that way, if you have a blank page, at least you've got something in the middle here. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll go back to admin. And oxygen templates. So now you have your main header footer. The problem is if you try to load a page like we saw with that sample page, we still need to add a template there. So now we can go do our normal add new template page. Uh, we're going to inherit the main header and footer. This is singular for pages and publish this. I'm going to edit with oxygen. And again, on the structure, we just have the inner content. So because it's a page and we don't want it to go side to side, I'm going to add a section. I'm going to add, add my inner content. It's a couple different ways to do this, but I'm putting the inner content. So now the inner content has padding on both sides. And we will have to go change the home page here in just a second. So now we've got a page template set up. We want to preview that with our sample page. Now we have a little bit better. If you want to, on your sample page, add a, another section. Uh, we'll move this one up to the top. We'll try to move it to the top. Move this one down. There we go. So this section, we can quickly go to advanced background data we'll set that as the featured image um, cover no repeat percentages of 50 50 so if you have an image uh, that can be your background if not we can say go pick this is our background or maybe a little darker yeah there we go that offsets a little bit and we're going to add heading I should have done this section everything is centered and the text color in this section is going to be white um, this headline make that white and we'll double click to add this insert data title insert done so now you've got a sample page here that's pulling in the title. It'll bring in a background image or use that color if one exists and you've got some padding on each side. So we'll go ahead and save that. Go back to admin. And now under templates, but now we've got a page with a main header footer. So now as you continue to create pages, I'm going to go back to pages. The home page is going to be broken now because we've added a header and a footer on top of an already existing page that has a header and a footer. See? So we've got everything doubled up. So we, it's pulling our main header footer, but this page already has it. So two things. You can go in and edit the page and remove this, which is probably what we should do. Or you can quickly go in here and just change it to none, and we'll update the page. The problem with that is you're not if you ever change or edit the main header and footer, it's not going to change on the home page. So what I would do is go back to default, update, edit with oxygen. We'll go into the structure now. And because we're already getting the header and footer, also we're gonna remove this header 
Then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Again, we have a, a double footer, so I'm going to remove that footer. So our main is giving us the header and the footer, and this page is just going to render the content in the middle. Go back to the front end. So now we have a working template for header and footer. Uh, if we want to go view the sample page, we got here to all pages. Your sales page likely is double header footer. This one is double header footer. This one is double header. So here's our home page. Uh, our sales page, again, we've doubled up, so we'd have to go in and edit this so it does not use or inherit anything and you can edit this page however you like uh, the sample page is going to look fine it's got its information there privacy is blank but we, at least we have some view heights showing here so these videos can go on and on this one's probably gone long enough that was extra stuff there's so many rabbit holes or ways we could go with this but this shows you the power and flexibility of oxygen any other questions reach out to me i'd be happy to help Make it a great day.